What's going on everybody? JT here coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go and the holiday 2020 event has gotten live and I'm excited. Check it out. We've got brand new Pikachus with these weird little winter coat things which I absolutely love and they can be shiny so that's a big goal but we also have three other big goals as you can see as well. There is Cub Chews in the wild that can be shiny and they have bows. The downside is these cannot evolve so if I get more than one that doesn't help me out very much but there's also going to be Deli Birds in the wild as well. There's one on the nearby there and they also have bows which means they're brand new and they can be shiny and I need to go for those. And also, there's the Jingle Bell Stantler, which I have not gotten lucky with, sadly. I don't know why, I went super hard last year, going to every raid, hatching as many eggs as possible, and I didn't get it, so I'm hoping that this is the year where I get it, because I want it, and there's a chance it could become legacy in the future, and I don't want that to be a legacy shiny that I don't have, so there's a lot of things to grind for today. We also have a lot of vanillaites spawning in the wild, which is great, which means I'm not going to be raiding any more of these, because to be honest with you, I don't think this is a very meta-relevant Pokemon, so I don't really care about it, not gonna lie. We're just gonna catch as many as possible so we can get that final form in the decks, and then until they can be shiny, I'm pretty much just gonna ignore these things. Also guys, for the first two days of this holiday event, Every raid will give you two times XP, which is phenomenal. Because if you're doing legendary raids, that's 20,000. And if you throw on a lucky egg, that's 40,000 experience for one raid. Look at that. 40,000. If you do three of them, that's 120,000. That's easy. If you guys are trying to hit level 40 before the end of the year so you can get that legacy medal and stuff like that, go hard during this time because this is your best opportunity to hit level 40 fast. Guys, I did not expect to get this one so soon. Check it freaking out. Shiny Pikachu with the little winter coat. I am so down. This is amazing. I really did not expect it. Out of all of them, I expected this one to be the hardest one for me to get. Wow, and it doesn't have a Pichu, it doesn't have a Raichu. This is the only one I need. Obviously, I'd love more, but holy crap. Awesome. Day one of the event, and we got ourselves a freaking shiny Pikachu. Totally, totally down. Probably has terrible IVs, but I don't even care if it does or not. Yeah, doesn't matter. It's a shiny Pikachu with the coat, and I love the coat. It's so good. I admittedly, though, I am having a hard time seeing it because the sun is directly in my eyes, but I can see those sparkles from a mile away. Oh my god, that is so amazing. Well, let's get that Deli Bird. Let's get that Stantler, and let's get that Cub Shoe, and then we're done. So in order to find the Deli Bird, there's two things you can do. One thing you can do is obviously finding it in the wild and trying to get lucky there, but it's also in research, which I think it's the first time it's ever been in research. And in order to get it, you need these. Send five gifts to your friends. So it's super simple, super easy to do. All you gotta do is send gifts and you get encounters. And they're decently common. These are the first three I found, but I've also only spun like six stops. So either I got very lucky or they're not that hard to find at all. So let's give our friends some gifts, which is very rare for me. <laughs> And then we'll see if we get a shiny out of this. Because if we do get one out of these, they have guaranteed at least 10, 10, 10 or higher IVs, which would be a cool shiny to have. All right, let's check these Deli Birds. Number one, please, just give me the purple right away. That'd be so cool. Now on number one, we're just gonna throw it in the stack. Deli number two, come on, baby, be purple. And Deli number three, come on, third time's a charm, but not this time, that's fine. And, oh, this is the biggest one, 464. I might actually catch this one, and if I learn that it's a good IV, then I'll let you know. Well, it turns out the 464 is actually really good. Check it out. It's a 96%, 14, 15, 14. So get anything higher than that, maybe like a 470, and you might get a hundo or possibly even a shundo. I really can't believe this. The incense delivers yet again. Shiny freaking Stantler. I wanted this so badly, and now we have one. And the funny thing is, I don't even have a normal shiny Stantler. I got a shiny Shadow Stantler. Wow, that was a terrible throw. I've got a shiny Shadow Stantler. I have now this one, as long as I catch it, which I should. So, <laughs> I literally have everything except for the normal one, which is pretty funny. And they spawn decently commonly around here, but boom. We got the two biggest ones I wanted. Now we just need to get the Deli Bird, and we need to get the Cub Chew, but wow. We're killing it, guys. Let's just appraise it. Don't care. Perfectly fine with it. Green Jingle Bell Sandler. It was a year in the making, but we finally did it. I'm so freaking happy, guys. This is amazing. Just two more to go, and we literally have only been hunting for like, I want to say like two plus hours. This is great. I don't know if I'm getting super lucky or not, or if these rates are boosted. I mean, I'll have to check later, but I hope I'm just getting lucky. Let's see if we can keep the luck flowing in. I've got three more of these Deli Bird quests, so... Who knows, maybe we'll get a purple deadly bird. I'd be so down, a purple deadly bird from a quest would be amazing. Come on, baby, give me the purple right here. Number two. No, it's fine, it's fine. Literally day one, we cannot complain right now. And the final one, please, purple, purple, purple. Nope, not purple, that's fine. And 462, slightly under my best one. I would love to get a hundo just to have one as a trophy. And if I got a shundo one, I would not complain. That would be a really cool, basically legacy shiny to get as a shundo. 
That'd be insane. Got three more checks, so let's do it. Number one, please, purple. No. Check number two. Come on, right here, right now. No. And the final check. Come on, number three. This is the ninth one we've done. No. So the snow run spotlight hour is about to begin, and sure enough, as I'm walking over to a big cluster, we got a shiny bronze ore, which is not the most exciting thing. These things have higher shiny rates than normal spawns, but definitely not going to complain. It could have good PvP IVs because Bronzong is really good for PvP. A lot of people use it. It's got Bulldoze. It has Confusion as its fast move, which is phenomenal. Confusion users are really good. But there we go. We got it. Let's see what happens. Even if it has bad IVs, it doesn't matter. This is the third shiny of the video. So, what are you? Yeah, not PvP in the slightest, but hey, it's a green coin, so that's cool. All right, guys, it's officially 6 p.m., which means Snow Runt is going to be everywhere. It's time for its spotlight hour, so let's hope we get a shiny one. Not that I need it. We've got three in this video, but I'd be down with more. And there's the new 2021 celebration thing. We'll get into that later, but man, look at all of these Snow Runts. Let's just check every one of them if I'm allowed to. I thought it was about to glitch there. That would have been a wonderful one, but anyways, let's keep going. The bonus for this event is not great. I think it's like two times transfer X or not XP, two times transfer candy, which I'm not that thrilled about. So that's fine. That means we can go fast and try to check as many as possible. Also, even though this thing does have a mega evolution, I'm really not that pressed on getting enough XL candies to make like a level 51. Because to be honest with you, I don't really have a lot of good ones. So let's just check all these and then we're going to check as many as possible. And who knows, maybe we'll get really lucky or more than likely we're probably not. But I mean, I mean, we got lucky with the Pikachu. We got very lucky with the Pikachu. So who knows, maybe December is our month. I mean, it is my birth month. You know, maybe we should get some more shinies on my birth month, right? Maybe that's the key to it. How about you? No. And then we got, I think like two more all right we got you no you're not shiny and then the last one ladies and gentlemen right here not shiny all right let's keep going everybody we're in the last couple seconds of this event so let's just keep going and keep pushing and see if we get a shiny but clearly we haven't yet and I just checked the same one twice what is wrong with me come on JT that one yes they are kind of close to each other though so admittedly it is kind of hard not to double tap but it's fine uh, I'm actually kind of relieved I didn't get it I mean it's kind of dumb to say it like that but I really didn't really want nor did I need this when the mega comes out I highly doubt the mega Glalie is going to be that groundbreaking though admittedly they probably will make it a little better than the uh than the, what am I trying to say here, Obama snow, because obviously they want the new Mega to mean something, so I could see that, but yeah. Doesn't look like I'm getting out at seven. Yep, I was about to say, doesn't look like any more are spawning. And there they all are, disappearing on me. Well, that's sad, but like I said, not the biggest of deals. Even though I didn't get a shiny, I did manage to catch about 146 of them, which is fine. None of them are good, none of them are hundos, yada yada. So I'm thinking, let's just get rid of all these things and see how many XL candies we get for it. Come on, big money, 28. That's not bad, all things considered. Now let's go back to Snow Runt and see how we're doing when it comes to the beautiful XL candies, if I'm allowed to click on anything. What is going on, game? Oh great, it froze. Well, that's fun. Hold up a second. And there it is. We got 65 extra large candies, so definitely not making one of these level 50 anytime soon, but again, besides the Mega, these things aren't really that meta-relevant, so not really that big of a deal for me. I'm really hoping that one of these three turns out to be a shiny daily bird. Though I've seen a few in the wild, so I'm not really not that pressed about it, but I want to see that purple sooner rather than later just to have it, you know what I mean? Also, I've been seeing a lot of cub shoes too, which is great. I'm literally seeing everything I want to see, just not shinies of the specific things just quite yet. But watch this as number three gives us the purple right here. No, okay, word. All right, everybody, we've had a pretty good hunt, but sadly, we gotta call it now because it's pretty late, it is pretty chilly, and unfortunately, my power brick turned into a normal brick, which is unfortunate, so yeah. Can't go much longer anyways because I've got like 6% battery. So yeah, we're gonna head inside, we're gonna do some news, we're gonna do some evolutions, and then we're gonna wrap this bad boy up. So, I'll see you inside the warm house.
Well, hey there! It's a lot warmer in here, thank goodness, and we also have a really cool event to talk about, which, I mean, you saw earlier in the video, it's the 2021 Celebration event, and it's got some cool stuff. So, it begins on Thursday, December 31st at 10 p.m., your local time, all the way until Monday, January 4th, 2021, at 10 p.m., your local time, and there's going to be some festive Pokémon wearing costumes. First off, there's going to be a Slowpoke that is wearing 2020 glasses, which is really funny because he's really slow to the action, but... Whenever you evolve him, he'll turn into a Slowbro with 2021 glasses on him, which is pretty fun. It's nice. And apparently, possibly, they could be shiny. It is in the code. There are images of it. Pokeminers found this, and here's an image of what they look like. It looks really nice, and I hope to find the shinies, obviously, because we only have about a couple days to get them, so fingers crossed that works out. But the Slowpoke will be in the wild, appearing after you complete field researches. It'll be in raids and hatching from 2km eggs. That's a lot of places for them to show up, so... Pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities. You don't have to spend money if you don't want to. You can actually just go out and find them in the wild, depending on how rare they are. Hopefully, they're not that rare. And also, there's going to be Pichus in the 2km eggs as well, which will have a New Year's hat, which again, here's what the whole line looks like. You'll be able to find Pikachus in the wild, and if you choose to evolve the Pikachu into a Raichu, that's what it's going to look like. And they can probably all be shiny because they're in the code, so... Yeah, pretty cool. All in all, there's also going to be Why Nots and 2km eggs, and they can also be shiny, not new, but still cool. Raticate, Wobbuffet, Wurmple will be wearing their party hats again, and they will be in raids, which is cool. Don't think there will be anything else there. Clink and Esper will also be joining them as well. Does that mean that they're going to have hats? I highly doubt Clink is going to have a hat, so I think Clink and Esper just won't have hats, but they'll be in the raids as well in 1-star raids. And then there's an Eevee with a party hat that will be available as a field research encounter which is pretty cool. And then we're going to have some stuff in the style shop so that you can celebrate 2021. Pretty cool. And the bonuses to this event are two times hatch candy, two times hatch stardust, and one half hatch distance with eggs, which means your two kilometer eggs are now one kilometer egg inside of the normal incubators. And then they'll probably, I think they're like 0.33 or something like that with the super incubator. So yeah, you could definitely blow through these fast. And the best part is they're not seven kilometer eggs. So you can hatch as many two kilometers as you want or as you can afford. I mean, obviously you get to spend money on these incubators, but yeah, all in all, fun little mini events. I'm down with it. I want to get obviously the slow poke and evolve it into a shiny slow bro. I want to have one of each of them. And other than that, I have every single other party hat. So I definitely want to go for the shiny Pichu for sure with the New Year's hat and also the Pikachu and the Raichu. I want to complete that. So those are the five I'm going to go for specifically. And then everything else I already have. So down with that, unless... They secretly add the starters, like Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander. They've had their party hats, too, so I still need the Charmander if that one comes out, but kind of hope it doesn't. I hope they keep it a little bit away for right now, and then that comes back later, so I don't have too much to hunt for, and not a lot of time. Now, in today's video, we got three Shinies, which is pretty awesome. I'm down with them. We got the Pikachu, which is huge. I really can't believe we got this on day one of the event, and I love it. This thing looks so good, so I'm very happy we got that. Then, obviously, we got the alien Stantler. I mean, seriously, it's like a green alien, but I love it. I'm so happy we got this. We missed it last year, but we got it this year, so that's awesome. And then we got a Bronzor, which is whatever. But hey, we got the other two, which is awesome. So I'm very happy with these two for sure. We only need the Cub Shoe. We only need the Deli Bird. And then we're done. We don't have to do anything else with this event. And I can be a little bit more chill. Though, admittedly, I do want to hunt a little bit more and just try to find some good stuff because this is a good time for XL candies for things. But yeah. Definitely happy we got this one. Extremely happy we got this one. The, definitely the best out of all four of them. These are the top two because, I mean, the other ones literally just have bows in their head. Well, this one literally has a coat and a hat. And this one's got some jingle bells, which is fun. So, yeah. So far, so good. Hopefully, we'll get lucky with the other two. And now it's time to do some evolutions. We've got Vanillite here. Let's evolve it to its next form. Which, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't remember. I really don't like this line. This is one of my least favorite lines in all of Gen 5, but it's okay. And weirdly enough, this next Evolve form that's about to show up was really good in Dynamax Adventures recently. What's it called? Vanille-ish? Cool. Whatever. There it is in the decks. I mean, it's okay. Apparently, they're actually sentient icicles, and then they add the snow on the top to make them like them more. I don't know why, but that's kind of what they're going with. But anyways, let's evolve it to the final form and get it in the decks. And I believe this is called... It's got to have Vanille in it, for sure. Vanille Ux, I want to say. Vanille Ux? Maybe? I think? What is it? Well, there it is. It's got its straw on its head and everything. <laughs> That's so weird. Vanille Ux! I was right! <laughs> Alright. It was somewhere in there. Alright, well, there it is. Registered the decks. And now we're done with those brand new Gen 5 Pokémon. Kind of wish that they added a few more extra ones, because they're still somewhere missing from Gen 5, but hey, 
Super cool. We got a smiley double ice cream cone with a straw on his forehead. Well, that's something. Now, as usual, it's pretty late, and I am very tired. So, I want to go to sleep. But before I can do that, you know I gotta do the positive comment shout-out. And today, it goes to Klitsch. Hey, JT, I love the video. The first instance I used during the event, I got extremely lucky and got four shinies. I got a shiny Cub Chew, shiny Alolan Sandshrew, and two shiny Alolan Vulpix. I've never been that lucky in my life. That's... Very lucky! I mean, thank you, first off, again, thank you for liking the videos, but man, four shinies on one instance is really good. Now, the Alolans have a higher shiny rate, I believe it's like a 1 in 50, 1 in 75, but that's still crazy that you managed to hit that in one instance. That's really good. And the shiny Cub Chew, obviously, which is massive. I'm really jealous. I want one. Hopefully we'll get one during this event with the bow, but wow. I'm glad you got it. I hope you kill it in this next event as well. And yeah, huge congratulations. And with all that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. And if you've enjoyed it, and I really hope you have, please smash that like button for me. Show me some love. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload. And also comment down below, how are you liking this holiday event so far? Have you gotten any good shinies? Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you really love my content and you want to help the channel grow even more, there's a link to my Patreon in the description box below. With that being said, this is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.